Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. Their primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium-137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium-138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates! There's only one way to deal with such men. What the... Revolution! That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's bigger. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Ah, oh, crap. Good work getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit, or 12, on the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. 
I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my Holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Pox, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. I should have known. The drugs, the alcohol, the loose chicks, the signs, they were all there. It's obvious those hippies were trying to lure me in, so I'd let my guard down. Nice try, hippies. But I'm not just any mindless hedonist. I'm the best! Don't worry, pucks. I've got this covered. I'll wipe out every one of those bastards for what they did to my guns, uh, and you. Slow down, Crypto. I doubt hippies had much to do with ambushing you and destroying the mothership. Oh, damn. On the other hand, their brains don't provide much usable DNA anyway. So knock yourself out, if you're so inclined. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the freak. Excellent. I shall continue my repairs on the saucer. And then, I don't know, order a virtual pizza or something. Brains, I hate this. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him? But I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much, uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's uh, call it guidance. 
Right on, Seeker! What can I do you for? You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let, let, let's talk about something else. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. Okay, you've piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bongwater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. <gasps> That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra-burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifists. What a crock. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Hey, freak. You ever been to Capital City? Yes, I mean no. What would I be doing in a town full of squares and eh, politicians? And I ain't never been to Dom, neither. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Yes. 
He's gonna gas the whole city with revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this, Bongwater's been drinking his own revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of revelade, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, move out! What am I doing talking to this creep? Right on! Time to boogie! Just tell me where Bongwater is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want it gathering dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bongwater? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude! Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. She sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right, I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence. See if I can convince her to give up bong water. Brothers and sisters, children of the revolution, this is the dawning of the Age of Aquariums. My name is Prudence Kane. Like me, many of you joined the American Liberation Front as a way of getting back at your rich suburban parents for subjecting you to an adolescence of obscene luxury. Okay, Simeons, here's the deal. You give me coyote bong water, or I toast me up some hippie s'mores, capiche? Whoa, we got a narc over here. Hey, narc, why don't you just go back to narc central and narc around with the other narcs, you narc? Ouch. That stings. Just the sort of response I'd expect from a narc. All right, that's it. Hey, losers, put this in your bong and smoke it. You carry a big gun, narc? As a matter of fact, I do. Ego transference, feelings of sexual inadequacy. Sexual... Are you high? I'm a freaking supernova. Papa's got a brand new bag. See that? Now he's trying to sexually intimidate me. Well, you can take your patriarchal power structure and shove it up your ass, man. What do we want? Liberation from the oppressive patriarchal power structure. When do we want it? Now! Cough up coyote bong water, or I start baking brain brownies. Threats won't get you any closer to the Revelade, pig, or to Coyote Bung Water. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I must have mistaken me for someone else. Please go on. Well, that's more like it. I accept your apology. Come by my tent later and I'll do you. Now then, where was I? Look, Princess, we ain't here for the opening act. Where's Coyote Bung Water? Sadly, our leader, Coyote Bongwater, cannot be with us today because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big happy commune. Suck on that, Daddy. You gotta be kidding me. That patchouli reeking nutbag, he makes the rest of you hippies look lucid. Okay, I'll give you the patchouli, but our beloved leader is not a nutbag. He is a cosmic visionary, a love child of the revolution. 
wise in the ways of political, spiritual, and sexual healing. He's a stinking monkey with delusions of grandeur, or a crook, or both. He is not. He's a great man. Stinky monkey. Great man. Stinky minky. Great man. Ah! Easy, princess. Pop another Valium. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city? The same way he freed our minds. With Revelade! How did I know that was coming? Revelade? Oh, I heard that stuff will give you a limp linguine. Limp linguine? Wilts your vine, tames your tiger, chops down your magic beanstalk. What? A park full of potheads and you're telling me nobody here's ever had erectile dysfunction? Last time I open up to you people. Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy, so uh, where do I get me some? That's the best part! Our brothers and sisters are about to deliver the final batch of Revelade to our leader, Coyote Bongwater! He's gonna pour it into the bay! Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution! Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass, and I haven't blown anything up for at least ten minutes. Agent Orenshoff, come in! Uh, I failed. You'll have to... start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? B but This city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. Party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain, or in Chavalt. But... No! No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done?! Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down. Ha ha! We've got those KGB agents now, Crypto! Finally! My gun was getting lonely. Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. Actually, Pox, I was kind of planning to go see this new Russ Meyer movie. Violent Vixens Vroom Vroom. Looks like a blockbuster. This is no time for film going. Our grip on this planet is at serious risk. Have you seen a Meyer flick, Pox? It's a religious experience. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Prison island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? Uh, no. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. The locals refer to this one simply as... The Rock. Okay then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. 
Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Meat for it? That Agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. All right, I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. My patience is at an end, Gospodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. Uh, you don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ivan? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly! You can't beat that kind of muscle! Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? Whoa. I've had wet dreams that weren't this good. Comrade, destroy these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it! We need Bay City! Hey, Ruski, give me those docs! Those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. The city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic. Like reading a pop-up book. Okay. Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! At last, the infamous Agent Orinchov. Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance, and you tell me what I wanna know? Okay, not what I was expecting, but if you think turning yourself into some kind of mutant freak is gonna stop me beating the answers out of you, you got another thing coming. Hmm, Chicken Kiev. 
What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that! Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we? I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure, what the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. Okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's, although in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. What's with the suit? Somebody die? In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because I'm a civil servant doesn't mean I have to dress like one, eh? Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And this suit is exquisite, don't you think? If you say so, I'm uh, more the wash and wear mylar type. So I I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. Th these bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Yeah, ah, I, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch, then. Splendid. Must dash. What's shaking, Ponzi? This ain't just a social call, is it? I'm afraid not. I'm relieved to see you, sir. The Soviets appear to be up to some mischief. What kind of mischief are we talking about? Because uh, if she says she's 18, you can't just call her a liar. No, no. The Soviet ambassador is throwing a party for the opening of an exhibit of Russian modern art. Frankly, it's making me a bit nervous. A number of Albion's VIPs are in attendance. You know, I'm starting to worry about you, Ponzi. You're getting a twitch. What exactly is it you're scared's gonna happen? I don't know. That's what's worrying me. Mainly, I'm worried about all those VIPs. MPs, captains of industry, all gathered in one place. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Thank God I managed to dissuade Her Majesty from attending. That could have been a real cluster of, um... Ouch. My virgin ears. So, what? You want me to get over there, rough the ambassador up a little? Dear Lord, no. I just need you to mingle with the crowd and check it out. Incognito, as it were. Okay, I'll get a disguise. Wouldn't want my pretty mug to ruin anybody's appetite. Okie dokie, Smokey. I'll go grab a disguise and mingle with the in crowd. Excellent. I'll stay in radio contact in case you need me. Shoot the humans all you want, spacemen, but you're only treating the symptoms. You want to get the disease, you have to shoot the spores. Let's throw ya! Thanks, Cupcake. Always nice to meet a chick who can handle her guns. You got a name? The name is Natalia. 
I'm here to help you, spaceman. Or do you prefer Mr. President? Mr. What the? Does everybody on this dismal freaking island know who I am? Da, pretty much. At least everyone in my line of work. Oh, so you work for Ponsonby? Yet. Although after this little incident, I may have to ask him for a job. I work for the Komatet Gosu Darstvenoi Bezupeznosti. Why, you make pasta? I'm a secret agent with the KGB. So you're a secret agent, huh? Cause I got a package that needs delivering. Your eyes only dig. I have three knives hidden on my body, and I'm blindingly lethal with all of them. Now concentrate. Ooh, I think I'm in love. Hmm, what the hell do you think was in those statues? Hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Go Shniev Kro. Sounds tasty. Hmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon or a quasi-legal performance enhancer for the Soviet Olympic team, depending on the context. Why the hell would you turn your back on your own species to hook up with an alien invader from outer space? First, we are not hooking up. And second, why would I trust a Furon over a KGB apparatchik? Because everything's gone bizumye. The bullet bureau spitting out orders that don't make any sense. My colleagues transforming into irradiated monsters. All hell is breaking loose. Something's happening. Something very, very wrong. And I think I'm the only person on Earth who knows it. But not anymore. Eh, Tovarish? The KGB? Are you yanking me? Oh, for crying out loud. You're not gonna try to assassinate me, are you? Cause I'm a little winded. I could use a second. Don't be ridiculous. The fact is, I'm not very popular in Moscow at the moment. I'm as patriotic as the next coldly beautiful Russian female, but... something's changed in the Kremlin. It's hard to put a finger on. All I know is, I can't just stand by and follow orders anymore. I guess you could say I've... gone rogue. Hmm. What the hell do you think was in those statues? Hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Go Shniev Kro. Sounds tasty. Mmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon or a quasi legal. Pr so, what is it? Some kind of mutagen? Because I don't know what mutants are supposed to look like, but. Actually, no. It's a spore. It infects a host through inhalation or skin contact. But, after a brief incubation period, it seems to set about genetically rebuilding the victim into something... not human. You think somebody engineered it for the purpose? You have a better explanation? I'm just trying to put all the pieces together. At first, I thought it was being made here, but now I'm not so sure. Pojomoy! The schedule's been moved up. They're about to shower these abominable spores all over the city. You take the Hyde Park infestation. I'll handle the ones in Soho. And Spaceman, good hunting. Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be on to him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, better get to the skies. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do, that someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. 
Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you. In exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas. Although I would have done it for your company. You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tails. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon. So you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. Okay, okay, I'll get the saucer. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off. So that's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick. A human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells. Really good. No, no! Focus, damn it! I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. At least, not too often. Hmm. Yowza. Morning, Ponsonby. You rang? Hmm? This better be good. I was this close to second base with Princess Margaret. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, sir. This is of the greatest importance. Oh. Well, look, I'm sure you got doctors over here who can take care of it, right? Probably won't even keep her overnight. Uh, who's the chica? You don't mind my asking. <clears throat> no, it's, it's, it's nothing so personal. I don't want to be overheard. We'd best whisper. What was... so, so sleepy? You... I'll... uh... uh. <laughs> Lower life forms, when will they ever learn? Ah, uh, my head feels like Tiny Tim just whacked me with a ukulele. What happened? Oh, good. You're back with us again. I trust you're comfortably tipsy. How do you feel? What the hell is going on around here? Who the hell are you people? Right. Let's try four cc's of Demerol. Switch circuits to level three and prepare the encephalogram. Now, I want you to tell me all the good things you remember about your mother.
You mean my first body's biological mother, or, or that cloning tube back in the saucer? Cause between you and me, the tube was warmer. Subject is lucid and capable of comparative analysis. Good. The Buffins have been examining your weapon's power sources, Cryptosporidium. We're all quite curious as to how the stored MU phase pulse is channeled in the first place. Hey, don't look at me! A box handles all the technical crap. I just blow stuff up. Subject displays annoying false modesty. Let's try another 4 CC, shall we? We know you have it. Tell us where it is. Tell us, or it's the Lodovico treatment for you. Eyelids peeled back, excruciating torture. Endless hours of Ludwig van. Ludovico treatment, huh? Maybe you didn't notice, you dumb plagiarist, but I don't have eyelids. Hey, Ponzi, Burgess and Kubrick are on the phone. They want their plot device back. Hmm, it's becoming litigious. I think we best continue in the morning. Attention, attention. Security breach in abscess facility. Codes Cromarty, Dogger, and Finister are in force. Repeat. <coughs> what was... what was all that about? Oh, my freaking head. This gas is noxious. Smells like Pox's underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Hey, hey, what the... Ah, damn dirty apes! Where the hell am I? You're in the Abscess Mental Reconditioning Facility, under the streets of Albion. Looks like I got here just in time. Now come on, spaceman. Move your ass! I don't get it. Why are you helping me? Because I know now. You're the only one I can trust. Anyway, who else is going to rescue you? Pox, man. I have never been so glad to see you. Actually, I've never been glad to see you, but I am now. Serves you right for trusting a human. What in the musky name of our food will happen down there? Well, I, uh, I ran into a little static with Ponzenby. Nothing major. Little wham-bam, thank you, ma'am, and he was history, and I was out of there. Is that so? Then why didn't I hear you shooting back at him? Moronic monkeys. Probably took the rifle apart to wipe their monkey butts with. Or study it. Hmm. Looks like they tried cracking it open with brute force, and succeeded only in breaking it. Well, have no fear. This I can fix. I expected I'd find you here. You're quite sporting, Crypto, and I do admire your spirit. But at some point, one simply has to face the fact that the other man's won. Of course, you couldn't know who you're up against, M16, or perhaps I should say, Majestic Command, 16th Sector. By the way, I have you surrounded. Take off now, and my surface-to-air launchers will destroy you and your precious saucer. The only way you'll leave here alive is in my custody. Come now, there's no need for any unpleasantness. It's undignified. It's beneath us. You've lost fair and square. Now be a man and show a little sportsmanship. There's a good fellow. <coughs> you bastard. You finally did it. 
M16 was all there was left. The last of the majestic agencies. All the others. The French. The Mongolian station. The Argentinians. Every one of them. Destroyed by... <coughs> aliens. That last round must have scrambled your synapses. I only took down the American Majestic. Silhouette's Majestic. You? <laughs> you cosmic egomaniac. You think this is all about you? <laughs> oh, the irony. Beaten by a solipsistic simpleton from space. <laughs> You actually believe you're the only... <coughs> the only... what? Leave it alone, Crypto. The man was in the throes of a violent demise and clearly not in his right mind. Now, you've had your fun. Can we please just go? Remind me again why we couldn't meet someplace classier. Like, I don't know, a, a meatpacking plant? Hey, Cupcake, my face is leaving in 15 minutes. You wanna be... Finish that line, and I blow your cooey off. Touchy. What's shaking, sexy? I'm worried, Tovarish. My sources are running dry. I can't risk further suspicion being cast on old friends. The time has come for action. Action? Well, it's about freaking time. What you got in mind? Burglary. I'm going to break into the Soviet Embassy. Hey, sexy. What do you say you and me just chuck all this for the night? Check into the Savoy, order up some oysters, test the bed springs. I'll teach you the Venus butterfly. I already know it. And I'm allergic to shellfish. Get lost, Svolotch. Little the old B&E, huh? Now you're talking my lingo. What's the snatch? All top secret information is in a heavily defended part of the compound. The cryptography room. Right on! That's practically my middle name. Well, my only name. So I noticed. I'm sure we'll find all the answers we need in there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Crypto, but they seem to know all my old tricks. The North Lawn has been mined. The old gate has been sealed up. They've even placed closed-circuit cameras on the only other wall. Cameras are no problem. I'm the president. I've learned how to deal with paparazzi. Crypto smash, you know what I'm saying? You're sure? Because once you start smashing, it won't be long before the KGB shows up to investigate. Trust me, efficient destruction is one of my four days. I don't doubt it. Good luck, Tavarish. <coughs> so, did you find anything juicy? Project Solaris is accelerating. Coded traffic to the KGB station in Takushima tripled in the last month. I also managed to get my hands on some cargo manifests. Well, that ought to clear things up a little. So you'd think, but what sort of operation uses seven tons of fissile uranium, 340 liters of human blood, and 92 cases of spam? You've obviously never been to the Pentagon Christmas party. Where is Takawatsit anyway? Takushima. It's a volcanic island nation in the Pacific, off the coast of China. We'll have to watch our step. Dos vidania. See you there. Hey, Goldie, uh, where are you going? If we split up, they can't get us both. Besides, I can't hold your hand forever, Spaceman. Hey, doll face. Where does an alien go to have some fun around here? Krito, Takoshima is a melting pot of ancient and modern human cultures. It has a rich history and a vibrant, popular culture. You always invite me to the nicest places, and then you never let me destroy them! Krito, we're on foreign ground. We have to be careful. 
Careful, Schmerful. I've been a model of self-restraint. But there's only so much I can take. Sooner or later, nature's gonna take its course. And when it does... Well... Don't say I didn't warn ya. <laughs> Crypto, you're so impulsive. Like a little boy. Little? Ah, uh, Missy, case you hadn't noticed, I'm packing a howitzer over here. No, no, it's a good thing. I haven't left in a long time. There's not a lot to laugh about in my country. Oh. Okay, I guess. You still think I'm sexy, right? I think you're one of a kind. <laughs> right on. Okay, save me the history lesson. How do I get into this melting pot? You'll need to get to know the people who live here first. The villagers, the urbanites, the police, the ninjas. Wait a minute. Ninjas? They got ninjas in 1969? Eh, go with it. Who doesn't love ninjas? And believe it or not, we are not the only foreigners here. This place is crawling with KGB. They get around, don't they? So what's the scoop? What'd you drag me down here for? A reliable source has told me that there are KGB agents waiting for a package exchange somewhere in Takushima City. I need you to go down there, intercept the package, and bring it back to me. Easy as tort, da? Intercept the package, huh? Okay, how do I do that? Nothing you can't handle. You'll need to disguise yourself as a KGB agent. And talk to the courier when he arrives. He'll probably be a bit on edge. If you approach him as crypto, he'll most likely destroy the package. Some people have no appreciation for beauty. You know, I'm starting to feel a little taken for granted here. Yeah, I'm not just your little messenger boy. Crypto, is that what you think? I don't see you that way at all. Look, if you do this for me, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Like Venus butterfly worth my while? More like I let you blow something up worth your while. Hmm, okay. But I get to use nukes. Uh, greetings, comrade. So, you're, uh, you're going home to the wife ski pretty soon, huh? Da, it will be being good. I have been missing her vodka pancake syrup. Man, your wife really takes care of you, huh? She must be like the best chick in the whole Soviet Union. Oh, you're being right. I will be glad to get home. Well, so much for the small talk, right, comrade? We, uh, we got business to do. Guess we ought to get on with it, huh? Of course. Now you are walking away as if not knowing me, duh? You got it, comrade. Thanks a million. Say hello to the wife ski. Dos vodonia, tovarish. Let's have a peek, shall we? Oh, klasno. I did good, huh? Tovarish, you did very good. These documents contain details of the local arm of Project Solaris. Apparently it's located in a top-secret research facility hidden somewhere on Takushima Island. And we'll find it. Yeah, first thing in the AM. Meantime, how about you and me dig up a karaoke bar and a couple of bottles of sake and build ourselves a memory? I do a mean, sweet Caroline. Drop the package and your death will be quick and merciful. Oppose us, and you will be subjected to your own personal gulag of pain. Hey, monkeys, you mind? I'm trying to put the ooves may on the ikche. Why, Crypto, is that your native tongue? It sounds so sensual. Business before pleasure.
Hey, Holopoxy, long time no see. Where you been? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Listen, Crypto, I haven't time for your jive talking. We've business to attend to. Bark all you want, Poxy. You don't have a mothership. Hell, you don't even have a hand to slap me with. Don't cross me, Crypto. I'm still your superior officer. And I have friends in high places. Big talk from a guy who doesn't even have a real mouth. <laughs> Come to think of it, you're at my mercy. I could do anything I want, and you literally can't lift a phalangepod to stop me. I don't need phalangepods to stop you. I'm in the computer, Crypto. I control everything. The steering, the life support, everything! I could kill you with a thought! It's a stalemate! <laughs> well played. Poxy. Takashima, Oriental setting, and the city don't know what the city is getting. You'd better not start singing about chess. I did notice some unique plant life beyond the Zen temple. Plant life. Like I care. The only good plant is a dead plant. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's right. The acid pods on Centauri, those carnivorous fly traps on Venus. Plants are evil, man. I'm only talking about their spores, Crypto. Must you be so melodramatic? Melodramatic? Look at my role model. Okay, what kind of business? Risky? Shady? Does it involve explosives? Well, not yet. I need you to investigate something of the highest importance. I'm picking up an unlicensed radio transmission coming from somewhere on the island. I want you to listen to the broadcast and find out the location of their base. Whose base? The White Ninja Cult who are broadcasting the message. I believe they're in possession of pieces of our poor mothership, and they're planning to blow them up! Ninjas again? Hello, it's 1969. What are ninjas doing in 1969? Go with it. Besides, who doesn't love ninjas? Okay, let's do this thing. How do I start? I have marked a radio on your navigation map. Get a disguise, find the radio, and flip through the stations until you hear the White Ninja broadcast. Then listen for a clue as to the whereabouts of the White Ninja base. Here I am, a real live alien. Now bow down before me, Ninja. Why heck should I? Who are you? I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. Yeah, today's your lucky day, Sparky. True. You look like Furon, but how can I be sure? Well, for one thing, I could blast you monkeys back to the Muromachi period. Wanna see? Threats meaningless. You could be costumed toddler with nuclear warhead for all I know. Try me. I ain't no toddler, and this ain't no costume. Perhaps. But two Furon could answer all these questions correctly. If you fail, so sorry, you must die. Then, again, if you Furon, you can clone yourself and come right back, and everybody happy. <sighs> okay, Sparky, we'll do it your way. Hit me. Who was spiritual leader of hippies in Bay City? I know this one. It was that wacko, Coyote Bongwater. Lucky guess. You wish. Give me my spaceship fragments, pajama boy. Not so fast. I have more questions. Hey, I'm on a roll. Bring on the next one. Attend. Which are following not in basic... Stonewall Bar? Ain't that on Christopher Street in the village? Not that I'd have any reason to know that. <clears throat> Indeed it is. And therefore not in Bay City. Impressive. 
And the hits keep coming. What's next, Sparky? Secret KGB base in Bay City. Where hidden? I know this one. The KGB had their base on that prison island, The Rock. They did, indeed. That answer, correct. All right, I played your little game. Now hand over the prize. I gotta see a chick about a chubby. Silence! I'm still not completely convinced of your furonity. Fine, bring it, PJ. Where Agent Orenchoff hiding out in Albion? Duh, in the abandoned tunnel network. How do you know all this stuff anyway? Correct, but none of your business. Uh huh. Pretty convenient, ain't it? Come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Then riddle me this. What happened to hipsters who came to happen? You kidding me? They did it all, baby. They made Woodstock look like a tea party. Correct. Or oh, so I heard. One more to go. Okay, last question, Sparky. What organization Ponsonby really in charge of? Uh, I think he said it was Military Intelligence, Division 16. Wasn't he like 0040 or something? Ha! And you believed him? Wrong! So, how'd I do, huh? Huh? What'd I tell you, right? Furon City, baby! Results conclusive, and you... Then it is true! You are an alien! We worship you, O oh Lord from beyond! Alien! Alien! Now that's more like it, oh! As a token of our faith, O oh Lord, we offer unto you our most ancient and holy artifacts handed down from an age beyond the memory. Artifacts! Artifacts! I was kinda hoping for geisha girls. Black Ninja! Apostates and unbelievers! We will fight to death in your name, O oh Lord. But first, we must compose our death haikus. Kill them all and seize their precious artifacts! Hey! Nobody screws with my cult but me! We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for this victory. Piece of cake. Now, now about those geisha girls. Yippee. And now, in honor of this mythic triumph, a victory haiku. Steel glints in sunlight, limbs go flying, bathed in blood, Tarantino-esque. Catchy. Don't suppose you got a haiku describing any super-secret KGB bases hidden around here? <gasps> we do. Secret hidden base put there by the KGB. Where the hell do you go? Our spiritual leader, Dr. Go, might be able to guide you to enlightenment and secret base. But I'm afraid Dr. Go has been kidnapped. By... Why, KGB! Natch, okay. Time to find the good doctor. Hey, Matryoshka doll, have I got news for you. Hey, Nat, what do you know about ninjas? Only what I've seen in history books. And, of course, ninja movies. Apparently, the big question in the ninja world is which ninja faction you swear loyalty to. Sort of a Jets and Sharks deal, huh? Okay, what are the choices? At the moment, there are only two. Black or white. Those white ninjas are pussies. I think I'll toy with them first before I crush them like fried ants. Not so fast, Crypto. At the moment, they are our allies. It would be best to keep them so for the time being. You're so cerebral. Frustrating as hell, but I like it. Ups the anticipation. You know, Nath, 
Uh, we've only known each other a short time. But in that time, I've, I've come to know the true meaning of the word love, capiche? Crypto. How sweet. And yet completely inappropriate. <sighs> right. It's just... The thing is, I got a new stag film in the mail. What say we grab some sake, fire up the projector, and get all sticky? Why, Crypto, that's the most appealing offer I've had in... well, ever. Swing and a miss, huh? Whiff City. What you got for me? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Me? Only information that may lead to the discovery of the secret base. Tasty. What's the catch? It's being held by a mysterious figure who goes by the improbable name of... Dr. Go. The real catch is, Dr. Go has been kidnapped and taken to Castle Kuro. Let me guess, and I gotta kick some ninja monkey butt to get him back. That's right! You're really catching on to this spy game, Crypto. Well, I'm not generally in the habit of rescuing humans. I'm more the torturing type. But, uh, if it leads to the secret base, for you, baby, anything. My name is Luke, uh, Crypto Sporidium. I'm here to rescue you. You... you are Furon! That's right, and this is the greatest day of your life. Hey, uh, no offense, Doc, but, uh, aren't you supposed to be worshipping me? And so I will, when you perform act of divine alien greatness comparable to deeds of Arkvudel. Okay, how about this? I'll deliver you from certain death if you tell me where the damn KGB base is. How's that sound, Sparky? Man, that is one tight suit. How the hell do you breathe in that thing? Small discomfort I endure in wearing suit pales in comparison to joy my wearing it gives to others. Others? Like who? Ladies of Takoshima! And gay and bi-curious men. First things first, where's the secret KGB base? But... but you said you were here to rescue me! Yeah, but the base location's really all I need. You're, you're kinda optional. More trouble than you're worth, really. No, dear. If you do not rescue me, KGB will kill me! Then you will never find the base, ne? Damn. Well played, egghead. I don't think you understand the situation, Go-Go. I don't have to rescue you. I could just leave you here for the KG Boneheads. You like that option? Logic defeats you. I cannot escape without you. You cannot find base without me. You're insidiously clever for a monkey, you know that? And you are amusingly dim for a Furon. Stairmate! And KGB will be here any moment. Uh, well, at least I get to kill somebody. Stick close, Doc. If we cannot contain the virus, we have no choice but to kill the cure. Well, well, way to mangle those cliches, pal. Who's translating this stuff anyway? You ask me, you fellas ought to get your money back. Let me show you how it's done. yippee ki -yay, Mother Russia. Good morning, Dr. Go. You look a little rough around the edges, Doc. Not that I care. I would not expect you to care, but yes. I was roughed up by some ninjas. You ought to take better care of yourself. You're no good to me dead. Nor to myself. I suppose you are ready to correct on our bargain? Check out the big brain on Doc. Yeah, it's time for you to pay up in information. 
No beating around the bamboo, Doc. I want the location of the KGB base. Fair enough. The base is... Inside the volcano. But... No buts, Doc, or I go all Iron Chef and get out the monkey cookbook. No, no. It's just, you need three security codes to access base. Codes? Oh, for arc foodles. Okay, what are they? If I had them, I would tell you, but sadly, I do not. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> One code is held by KGB Rida, Agent Sasha Soysorsky. The second is kept by enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. Third code is in my briefcase, which was stolen by Brack Ninja and taken back to their base. Well, at least now I know the score. I'll start with the Black Ninjas and your code. Good plan, and while you are finding my code, I would try to ascertain locations of other two code keepers. Right on. I'm off to fry some black ninjas and find that damn briefcase. Oh, here. You need key to open briefcase. Don't lose it. Only one I have. Good morning, Dr. Go. Okay, one down. Where do I find the next code, Doc? It resides with my exo-girlfriend, enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. You're pulling my pud. You actually got a chick to go out with you? Oh, yes. And when she hears of my escape from Brack Ninja, I know she'll want me back. Uh-huh, yeah. And where do I find the old flame, Go-Go? She frequently tends to Zen Rock Garden in Zen Temple. I bet she's a hottie, huh, Doc? Uh, sexy lady, foxy mama, huh? Please don't kill her! No promises. Konnichiwa. Can I help you? I got good news, Professor. Your main squeeze, Dr. Go, has escaped Black Ninja custody. That is good news indeed. But you are mistaken. We are no longer involved. Maybe not, but I gotta tell ya, the good doctor would love to see ya. Really? Why should I see him? Because, uh... Because why? Just... because. Look, there is picture of me under one of rocks in Zen Garden. Find that picture and give it to him. I think of him fondly, but... That is the only thing I have left to give him. My heart has moved on, like summer storm. Good morning, Dr. Go. Got a nice picture of your girl for my wallet, Doc. Candid, if you catch my drift. Now where do I find the last code? The Kaijin who stole Yuki from me has a final code. Cast him and his ancestors! He is a KGB division head called Sasha Soysorsky. Now that's what I call a subtle gag. Where do I find this tongue twister? He is holed up in KGB building in Takoshima City. I think perhaps he is depressed. But in any case, I fear you'll have to destroy a whole building to get him out. Why, Doctor, surely you're not suggesting I kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. And it's just a coincidence the Ruski's making time with your chica, right? Don't worry, Doc. I'll wreck the place good and take the code from his dead red fingers. What's the buzz, Foxy Mama? So, you, me, jacuzzi, chocolate syrup, what do you say? I'm allergic to chocolate. Wow, no kidding. That's gotta suck. Eek, Soviet chocolate is made from mud anyway. Plus, I have to fit into this outfit. And on behalf of oversexed aliens everywhere, let me just say thank you. 
Guess who now knows the location of the secret base? It's the volcano. I know, but we need codes to get in. I know where to find the first... We could do what you were gonna say, or I could reach into my pocket and pull out... Crypto? You have the codes? This is wonderful! What are they? I... love... you. Not now, Crypto. We have work to do. Tell me the security codes. Those are the codes. Also, who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know who's on third. Now then, I'm off to infiltrate the secret KGB base. Don't wait up. Very funny, Crypto. I'm coming with you. Uh, no, you're not. It's too dangerous. Your chauvinism is touching, Crypto. But I don't take orders from you. Don't be stupid, Nat. In case you've forgotten, you can't just reclone yourself. And in case you've forgotten, you don't know how to operate the access terminals outside the base. Uh, you're the most infuriating female monkey I've ever met. That's your problem. To you, I'm always female monkey. Why can't I just be monkey? Be whatever you want. I just don't want you to be a dead monkey. Crypto? That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, well, I just don't want to lose my shot at sinking the pinko, that's all. Of course, I understand. All right, enough meaningful chit-chat. Let's climb this smoke bomb. The Hamuha, Premier Milinkov. I regret I'm unable to join you in person. Unfortunately, the quantum uncertainty of this experiment demands I maintain a safe distance. <laughs> it's Heisenberg's world. I just play in it. Experiments? What are you talking about? I'm so pleased you asked. We've prepared an educational multimedia presentation for just such a purpose. Meet Gojira! She's single, a Pisces, and the summer intern for credit at the illegal KGB base here in Takoshima. Organic good Soviet worker, she was happy to volunteer for top secret experiment. This twist of shower handle experiment is underway. Watch how modern miracle of quantum radiation transforms Gojira, bringing out her highest potential. Way to go, Kojira! Kojira! <laughs> oh, I love that film. I must have seen it a hundred times. Sadly, however, the two of you will never see it again. Why? Because... Auto-destruct sequence initiated. The base will now self-destruct. To for your mouth! She stole my line! <laughs> In any case, good night. Thank you for coming, and have a very pleasant day. We need those data tapes, spaceman. I'll grab them and meet you outside. What? No kiss? Hey, Poxy. Finally kicked you out of the geisha house, huh? Did you figure out where that ginormous monster went? Not for certain. But I'm picking up a signal in the ocean to the south. Yeah? What kind of signal? A radiation signature. Emanating in gamma waves from the creature's tortured brain. Tortured? Yes. It's as if the monster is crying out, Kill me! Kill me! That's gotta be the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. 
Look, Pox, explain this monster to me. The Ivans can't even make a decent wristwatch. How the hell they come up with the technology to turn a summer intern into that? I've been trying to figure that one out myself, and I keep coming to the same conclusion. They didn't. What are you suggesting? I'm not sure, but there's more than good old-fashioned Russian can-do spirit at work here. You're telling me those people have all the initiative of a normal convention. So you want me to hunt down this monstrosity and put it out of its misery? Actually, I want you to read its mind and into it the source of its cognitive dissonance. So we can get it some help and over time teach it confidence and self-esteem. You gotta be kidding me. Of course I am, you mutation! Now go kill that thing! Okay, okay. But how do I find it? Do I have to? You get in your saucer and fly to the spot marked on your radar. Look for bubbles on the water. That's a pretty good sign there's a monster! So then what? I just drop some fat boys into the water and blow it up? Unfortunately, no. Your saucer's weapons are ineffective underwater. You'll have to figure out some way to get the beast to surface first. And then I play a little whack-a-lizard. Got it. Me. Don't crush me! Oh, brains! My lives are flashing before my eyes! Kill it, Crypto! Kill it! They all die the same. Okay, that was a little different. Blaha Moya! What have you done to that poor girl? Ah, uh, for once, it's not what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. Never mind, we don't have time. Just give her some money for therapy. This better get me laid. Now, I just received word from Sergei, my contact at the KGB. He says they're building Project Solaris at a Soviet base in Siberia. The town is called Tunguska. It's a little remote. No kidding, because I thought everything in Russia was 20 minutes from everything else. <laughs> Tick tock, dollface. So this is Tunguska. <laughs> Yikes. It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah. Oh. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking.
The Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka, you look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for further verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate our motherland. Svolochi. Da. The area plans are kept in a high security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaychik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us. Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder, even in the tundra. Thank you, comrade. We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Okay, so how do we get our hands on the plan? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more the freaking merrier. Okay then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, dull face, I'm off to stir up the Soviets. Be careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck. Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. So how about those plans you swiped? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Da. But a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at? Dobry den, Tovarish. Hey, gorgeous. Did you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the Organic Weapon Technology Program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. So you persuaded the scientist to talk, huh? Uh, did he survive the persuasion? Violence isn't the answer to everything, Crypto. For example, have you noticed the male-to-female ratio in this village? You sly dog. Hey, all I did was sit there. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. 
Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you, but I expect a big reward. Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm, you can ask him for your reward. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Finished already. And here I was just getting started. Of <laughs> course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then... Try and stay out of trouble. Well, that wasn't condescending. So, he makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalangipods, is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. Yeah. Privet, Tovarish. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, hey, not bad, Goldie. So, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? Da, ah, but not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy hookers of Arkfoodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no. They're not even human. They're the enemy. Our enemy. The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War. Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. I'm glad you're here, Crypto. We need to hunker down and do some serious strategizing. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They 
take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven time. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Cleared it right up. Well, hello. How nice of you to drop by. Hey, Pox, what do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? I don't know. What do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? Chowder! <laughs> okay, Pox, what are we gonna do about these crabby Blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. The main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. Are you sure my saucer can't finish that warship off? It looks totaled. Well, it can't fly, but it still makes an impregnable base. Your saucer can't put a dent in it. You see, during the Martian War, Furon nuclear weapons were the envy of the galaxy. But we converted to conventional arms after our little DNA mutation issue. And believing our supremacy unchallenged, diverted resources to other, more frivolous concerns. Such as... Poverty, education, health care... Trivia! Utter trivia! Who cares our damned complacency?! So just cause little Jeremy wants to read, my saucer can't do squat against the Krabbies. Goddamn politicians! So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's gotta be locked down tight. It is, and my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then, destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. All right, Poxy. I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! 
Head for the Blisk base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock on to the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These Blisk are a lot stronger than... Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzaby was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Fabulous work! The hatch is open! Now the part I know you've been waiting for. Call in the saucer, Crypto, because it's time to play Blow Up the Blisk Warship! And remember, don't waste your ammunition firing at the hull. The only vulnerable spot is inside that thruster. Greetings, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orloff. And? No and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoy, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridle. That is why we desire her. Poetic, yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot, coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Ah! Help! Help me! Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris Da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw... very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. 
I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it, whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care. Facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Uh, Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet ya. Well, it's about time. Guess the Krabbies won't screw with us now. Not after what I did to their warship. Don't get cocky, Crypto. There's still at least one loose end left to tie up. You may have destroyed the Blisk base, but we still don't have Millencom. Hey, Pox, you seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Milinkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sergei. You know her, always working. She's probably just looking for leads on Millencom. Quite possibly. She is most efficient. Perhaps Agent Sergei is helping her. <sighs> she better not be. Man, I have had it with that smug jerk-off. Look at me. I'm so handsome. I'm so smart. I read poetry. I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Udachi, comrade. Crypto! Thank Lenin you're here. The worst has come to pass. Sergei is infected. Ah, for crying out. Uh, tell me you use protection. Uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya Zednitsa! I am not talking about STDs! He's been infested with alien spores! Indeed, he has Lapushka, and I'm afraid Penny's healing won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millencom. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. <laughs> You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. 
It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame. Neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svidanya, Kritos Peridium. Krito! Leave me! Stop kneeling, go! Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? Tovarish! Look, it, it sucks that Melenkov got away, but I couldn't let you... you know... I know, Crypto, and... thank you. But we still have to stop Melenkov. And he's halfway to the moon by now. Ugh! What are we going to do? Don't fret, dollface. Uh, I'm sure you'll find some way to get to that moon base. You Ruski's got a space program, don't you? Oh, da. Plenty of rockets to the moon in Star City. And so dependable. How could you do this to me, Crypto? I thought we were a team. Uh, hello? Have saucer, we'll travel. I was wondering when you'd ask. Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Nice of you to join me. Give me the scoop, dollface. What do we know about this Blisk base? Not much, other than it seems to be the main Blisk stronghold. It contains their hive, and the weapon they plan to use to destroy Earth. And that's bad. See? See, I'm really getting this spy stuff, huh? Okay, what do we know about this Blisk weapon? It's an organic spore shooter, and it too needs radiation to charge itself. Jeez, enough with the radiation! My nads are shriveling like crazy! Tell me about the hive. I'm guessing it ain't filled with honey. Yet. The hive contains all the Blisk spores, hundreds of thousands of them. And the spores feed voraciously on radioactive materials. Radiation. Why did it have to be radiation? Okay, Sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <laughs> oh. So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was gonna be something hard. You got it, babe. No time for chit-chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. Hey, Pox. Do you ever notice there seems to be a lot of crates lying around? Just random crates. I mean, what could they all be for? You can't tell me anybody needs this many crates just lying around. I guess if they were being used for something, then, then I could understand. So many... Crates. I think they got the hint, Crypto. All right, Pox. I need some serious intel on Moon Base Solaris. Right. Moon Base Solaris consists of two primary areas: the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base, like two lobes of the same twisted mind. You know, Pox, you got a pretty cushy job here. I do all the fighting while you just sit around eating bonbons. In case you hadn't noticed, Crypto Spiridion, I have no body! And nobody cares for you! <laughs> Get it, Pox? <laughs> Okay, what do we know about the Blisk, aside from their ugly sin? They are indeed a most repulsive race, and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. 
Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun! Why? Because that's where the Blisk base is, that's why. And they don't want you finding out that they're a bunch of giant lobsters from outer space! Lobsters from space? What kind of dumb cuffs are you taking us for? The kind that let giant lobsters from outer space take over their whole freaking country, apparently. This is making no sense, Leonid. What evidence are you having to mistrust Bliskovics? So, uh, you say you want a revolution? Yes, Spasipo. We already had to. We are having free vote. You stupid commies. Do you even realize how stupid you are? Calling you stupid is an insult to stupid people. Oh, jeez. Why do I even bother? Boo! We are not having to be standing for this treatment. Ah. Ah, uh, come. Work the <laughs> Because Milenkov thinks you're too drunk to Oh, of Dali. So, uh, you say you want a revolution? Yes, Spasipo. We are having fr- Look, and <clears throat> Uh, comrade. Good question. The Blisk have you guys working way too hard. And you know what? It's time we did something about it. Who's with me? Ugh, Leonid is right. Bliskovics have taken advantage of our good natures. Hmm. But Leonid, why we have to leave in beloved country and come into this hellhole? What's the matter? Oh! Tell me, da! Ha! And not da! Because Ooh, we are respect. You're not happy. Well, I just a moment. Yet we are. Uh, come. Who tell me da? Da, but da. da. He is that da. <laughs> we need da. Because drunk. Okay, but da. Oh, it ain't just me. Bliskovic's a dolly, you need. So, yet, Spasipo, we are the at, we are at. Oh, yeah, bootleg, you're what in the, you're a, who is, we are. Ahem. Ah, uh, comrade. And you, ugh, hmm, but Leon, da. That is, hmm, but Leon, da, da. Uh, and the da and Oops, the this is evidence they're controlling your minds. I am thinking, comrade cosmonaut Leonid is. They've taken over your in. They're giant. Mm. They're taking away your vodka. Oh, this. This is being outraged. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka, Russia would. This will not be. Yeah. Da. 
working on a major hangover here. Tell me again why we're here at Moonbase Solaris. I'm astonished, Crypto. Need I remind you of the plans of the Blisk? Uh, yeah. That's kind of my point. If we don't stop them, they'll launch their mysterious weapon at Earth! Unleashing Arkvoodle knows what hell on all our virgin Furon DNA! Oh. Those plans, right, right, got you. Okay, Pox, I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation, demolished the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance, and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell do You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for- What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Holy crap! All this work, hours of gameplay, and you're telling me we failed? I'm afraid so, Crypto. Once it's started, there's no way to stop it. Oh, we're doomed! We'll never get that pure DNA back to the home world now! Our race will clone itself right into the genetic trash bin of history! Oh, tragedy! Unless... Unless... If we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target! Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs. Now go! Well, Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But, no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Furon. Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our... DEVILISH MASTER PLAN! Get this through your monkey brain, Milinkov. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our... Fiendish master plan! You two-bit tin horn petty tyrant! I fork bigger than you! You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. 
I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess, you and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and Krabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krabbies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You furon so to death. But Earth... Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity. To become a new Eden. A new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encouraged the build-up of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1917, act of revolution. To the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da? You're not... Suggesting... Suggesting? I'm telling you! Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev! Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... Sure, Liv. Face it, Kritosporidium. You Furans have been out scheme. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth! The loss of our spores is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference! Soon, Earth will be ours! No more humans! No more food or DNA! And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it! Lestrovia Cryptosporidium. Hey, Pox, uh, what's it like being one of the floating dead? It's quite peaceful, actually. Quiet, no noise or distractions. Certainly no violence, no wars or fighting of any kind. Frankly, it's boring the phlegm off me! I hate it! I want a new clone body! Ah! <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Now would be a good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Octopus loins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there, waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Uh, 
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Pull the plug on this mission, that's what. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car! Moron. Cuts. Goldie! Oh, am I glad to see you. You won't believe it. The bliss garden. Planning to kill humanity and turn Earth into an irradiated water world? I know. Oh, well, uh, uh, the good news is Pox has... Concocted a virus which will cause the bliss to spontaneously combust? I know. Oh, how'd you know? I'm a spy. It's what I do. Okay, well, uh, so what are we gonna do? We're going to bring these Flolachi to their knees, that's what. I'll release the virus. You just keep those Krebbies off me while I do it. They're not touching a hair on your pretty little head, dollface. Trust me. They'd better not. I told you, I'm allergic to shellfish. But one way or another, Tovarish, this base is coming down hard. <sighs> I am so turned on right now. So what do we know about this Blisk base, exactly? We know it's split into two domed sections, and it's swarming with Blisk warriors. Very unfriendly. Also, the entire base is organic, alive, and much of it radioactive. Uh, well, guess if it was easy, everybody'd be doing it, huh? Hey, it's only the fate of our species, right? We can do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Da, comrade. I'm ready. And spacemen? Good hunting. Rock and roll! Boy, honey! We've done it, comrade! We sure did, Dullface. We saved the Earth! We killed the Blisk! I am pleased to have helped you vanquish your foes. Hey, you know, after a while, that big blue mud ball starts to grow on you. I mean, at first you think it's a boil, but... It's all right, Crypto. You don't have to pretend. I know how you feel about humans. Well... Not all humans. Natalia! You're gonna pay for that, you son of a bitch! This is it, Crypto. All we've worked for, all we've fought for! The entire future of both the Furon and the human race comes down to this! The base is destroyed! The Blisk are wiped out! All except... One! Are you ready to take on... Milinkov? I was cloned ready.
Joe, I've been ringing you for hours. What in the galaxy is going on out there? Sorry, Poxy. Uh, just working on a little science project. Wait, Crypto! You're finally showing an interest. I knew one day you'd make an excellent scientist if only you were properly motivated. What is it? Physics? Biology? Little of both. A little of... Wait a minute. I'm detecting residual heat from the cloning lab. Crypto! You didn't! Listen, you little pustule. If anyone's getting a new clone around here, it had better be me! Who was that? Kreptushka? Telemarketer. Nothing to worry your sexy little head about. Whatever you say, my insatiable alien love czar. Wake me up when you're ready for re-entry. I made a few adjustments. Oh! <laughs> 